Hi, Reject Nation. Happy Monday. Kicking off the week with Wreck-It Ralph 2. Another trailer, people. John still hasn't seen Wreck-It Ralph, but you know what? It's been a few years, so maybe this should entice people to go watch the first one. Bam! Excuse made for John being here right now. Thanks, man. No problem. I got your back, Humpy. <laughs> Patron of the Day shout-out for Rosa Parra. But she wants us to actually give a shout-out to a person named Tony Lara. Tony Lara is actually a really close friend of Rosa's daughter, Cassandra. There's a lot of us at the end of the names here. Tony is a huge fan of The Real Rejects, apparently. Uh, he heard about how we shout out Rosa a lot and Cassandra, so he got really excited and he wanted us to give him a shout out. Tony, just wanted to say, keep spreading the word about the Reject Nation to all the elementary school kids that you know, yeah. because they're our target market, clearly, and that's why we're shouting you out today. Maybe you don't even know what the words target market mean yet. Tell your teachers about us. Yeah. They're also the target market. Let's do it, people. Let's break the internet. Start churning butter and put on your church <laughs> shoes, little sister, because we're about to blast off! Where? Ralph, what is it you're trying to say? We're going to the internet. What? <laughs> hey, kiss. <laughs> so crazy. <laughs> Product placement through the roof. Seriously. Look at all this stuff. This is the most beautiful miracle I've ever seen. Welcome to the search bar. What can I help you find today? Um, um, umbrella. Umbridge. Umami. No. No azar. No doubt. No it's from rat. Ergonomics. Urban outfitters. Er cool. I'm pretty sure he's just trying to guess what you're gonna say. My autofill is a touch aggressive. <laughs> Let me try. Take me to a website that's super intense and really nuts. Uh, oh no. Oh. I only found one result. <laughs> Uh, oh, come on, oh my dis a <laughs> Damn. Damn. It's like ready player one. Wow. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> of a princess are you? Uh, do you have magic hair? No. Magic wow. hands? Do animals talk to you? No. Boy of poison? No. Hey, this this is true. <laughs> no, are you <laughs> like, please? Do people assume all your problems got solved because a big strong man showed up? Yes. What is up with that? She, she is, is a princess. princess. <laughs> <laughs> Ralph breaks the internet. <laughs> Shouldn't it be Ralph wrecks the internet? Yeah, since he is wreck it, Ralph. Uh, yeah, but break the internet is <laughs> like a thing. Right, it's just wreck the internet kind of sounds better, doesn't it? You're not wrong. <laughs> Damn. I know, right? Yeah. <laughs> it's cool, huh? Like an IP property sandwich. That's crazy. I heard they were gonna like feature the princesses and stuff. And I think they got the actual voice talents of the people who played these princesses I would back not too. Be surprised, it's Disney. Because <laughs> it doesn't look like Disney down crossover of these princesses. It looks like they're directly from their animated movies. Oh here, yeah, you know, yeah, hundred <laughs> percent. Which is so cool. Other than you know, like a Pocahontas or something, which was hand drawn. Well, it's kind of neat to see them translated though. Yeah, like, in an animated. Like, yeah. I don't know if there was like some computer animated show of like Pocahontas, Pocahontas or three and a half like, straight to video, <laughs> something like that. Yeah, and then like them making fun the jokes of like what it means to be a princess in yeah, these Disney movies yeah. is kind of cool for Disney to be making fun of their own brand in that way. I yeah. feel like they've gotten better at that in their last few movies like this, especially stuff like uh, like Tangled and things, yeah. and, and even Frozen a bit, becoming more self aware of their formula and, and pointing it out and stuff. I feel like a lot of people are gonna tune in for that section right there, not yeah. just 
the princess part, but the whole Disney section because she goes to like Oh My Disney or whatever yeah. it says there. You could even see in the shot. You got Eeyore there. Uh, you got the Star Wars. You got the Muppet yeah. Show in the background. It says Marvel and Pixar. It's got everything from there. Well, they even and, got the like the, they got the hat from the animation building. In yeah, there, you know, like <laughs> and you got the stormtroopers chasing after her. You got so much craziness going on in this trailer. It's called the internet, so you're gonna want to explore more than just the Disney side of them crossing over to all the whole Disney universe. Yeah, we gotta go to Amazon. I'll admit, I am part of the group that wants to see Vanellope and Ralph mix it up a lot with the crazy Disney-verse here. That just seems like a total blast to do. Yeah. Especially since Disney owns so much right now. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I guess that's a happy byproduct of this, because half of me kind of cringes at just how much property is in this trailer, but at the same time, I mean, it is the internet. Everything lives there. Yeah. <laughs> to see Disney mishmash their own properties is a pretty cool idea to me. Yeah, exactly. The internet is unlimited yeah, and, exactly. what, and what you can do. I can't help but wonder if someone's going to explore the internet. There's so many dark paths you can go down with yeah. this. I wonder if it's even going to teeter at all even on hint. hint at all of like, yeah, you know what I mean? Of the sites that kids should not be going to. There'll be a couple jokes yeah. for the parents, but I don't think anything too. We're not going to see Wreck-It Ralph find the dark web. Yeah. Like that. There might be some type of joke set up at first of some like age restricted sight blocker going on at the beginning it's the internet and we all know what most people use internet for <laughs> so, yeah, yeah it's gonna be the first r-rated record <laughs> yeah. it's gonna be great. i'm still wondering though what the actual plot of this movie is the first movie had a really clear defined plot and it was a great excuse for ralph to jump in and out of all these other video games in the arcade world but here we're just getting a lot of wonder. disney references and then internet references like amazon and snapchat we're getting all these just uh, wonder over the setting but yeah. you don't really get what the direction's gonna be yet, yeah you know? why they're going into the internet what the main plot is at hand but in terms of like the fun references and all that that all seems to be very present right now and yeah. i'm loving it i was actually kind of freaking out a little bit when i was seeing the disney princesses and all that because i'm like whoa they're really doing this yeah <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, they're really cool. to it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. all right guys well are you excited for wreck it ralph 2 do you think it'll be better than the first wreck it ralph leave your comments down below people you guys can subscribe to the reject nation click that notification bell because subscribe buttons don't really work and you can check us out on patreon full-length tv show reactions weekly q a's tony laura tony love you buddy